With threats to our nation waiting around every corner, adaptability is more important than ever. When conditions change without notice, quick strategic thinking is crucial. And with obstacles consistently impending, determination is essential in overcoming them. It's this willingness, decisiveness, and resilience that sets Marines apart. With our fighting spirit, we don't just fight battles, we win them. Marines are the constant our nation counts on to fight the unknown. And through adaptable problem solving, we do just that. Learn more at Marines.com. Hello, it is Ryan, and I was on a flight the other day playing one of my favorite social spin slot games on ChumbaCasino.com. I looked over the person sitting next to me, and you know what they were doing? They were also playing Chumba Casino. Coincidence? I think not. Everybody's loving having fun with it. Chumba Casino is home to hundreds of casino-style games that you can play for free anytime, anywhere, even at 30,000 feet. So sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com to claim your free welcome bonus. That's ChumbaCasino.com and live the Chumba life. No purchase necessary. VGW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions 18 plus. Hello, it is Ryan, and we could all use an extra bright spot in our day, couldn't we? Just to make up for things like sitting in traffic, doing the dishes, counting your steps, you know, all the mundane stuff. That is why I'm such a big fan of Chumba Casino. Chumba Casino has all your favorite social casino style games that you can play for free anytime anywhere with daily bonuses that should brighten your day a little actually a lot so sign up now at chumbacasino.com that's chumbacasino.com no purchase necessary btw void were prohibited by law see terms and conditions 18 plus this is back on track from anything but footy the interview series featuring team gb and para gb athletes aiming for tokyo 2020 in 2021 our guest in this episode is heptathlete Neve Emerson. Neve was the world junior champion in 2018, with the gold medal coming just a few months after winning bronze at the Commonwealth Games in Australia. The following year, she won the silver medal at the European Indoor Championships in Glasgow. She's hoping to follow in the footsteps of British multi-eventers like Mary Peters, Denise Lewis, Kelly Southerton, Jessica Ennis-Hill and Katerina Johnson-Thompson and is now preparing for Olympic debut in Tokyo, despite the challenges of training through the pandemic. Firstly, I was just training in Loughborough, usual. Um, it's, re- it's been really good, actually, because under the elite athlete rules, exemptions, I've been able to get access to the Loughborough High Park Performance Centre. So that's for indoor facilities. That's been great. So I've been training there since probably August time. So that's been really good. And then I went to Dubai in January. So that was really fun. It was also a really good chance to get some quality training in because it was obviously over the it's just been interrupted and it felt like normal life, especially in training terms. We kind of just go to the track and then now I'm just back training in the UK, really. So, yeah. And, you know, when you got that news that the Olympic Games wasn't going to happen, it was cancelled. How, how does that affect you? What, what goes through the mind? To be honest, it, it I wasn't a surprise because of the build up. So I think we obviously they'd said it was cancelled on one specific day and it was completely done but I had a feeling for the 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 weeks before so there wasn't going to be an Olympic so it was kind of time for me to digest it so it wasn't such a big shock for me as well I was I was only 20 at the time when they said it was cancelled obviously turning 21 that year and I'd just come back from a patella tendon tear on my knee so to me it was really upsetting and I was I was devastated about it because ever since I'd uh, had my injury, I'd just cancelled the whole of 2019 season and was like, right, all about the Olympics. Spent months, hours training for this Olympics. And then for it to be cancelled, it was just, it threw everything off. It's like everything in my life was for the Olympics and then it's just all gone. So I was just like, well, do I even train today? What do we, what do we do? Is there even going to be a season? Because to me, there's no point training if you're not going to compete. Like I do it to compete. So we had a big revamp. And to be honest, we think looking back now, it was not the worst thing in the world. It being cancelled for me because it's just given me more time to be able to fully complete my rehab and then start again. Whereas I was pushing hard and really close to the line to try and make it back because I was obviously against a time period. I was against a time frame. In hindsight, it's a good thing for me. At the time, I didn't see it as that. But then as time went on, I digested it. Definitely. Now, the Olympics, everything would point to it's actually going to take place in the summer of 2021. They're saying that there will be more women on Team GB than there will be men. And that will be the first time that this happened. What has been 
for you the breakthrough in in women's sport over the last couple of years? Because it, it, the role models now are Dina Asher Smith, they're Katarina Johnson Thompson, aren't they? They're the the hockey team in Rio, the netball team on Gold Coast. What's been the breakthrough for you? As a child, like I've been really lucky enough to obviously have role models like Jessica Ennis Hill and Katrina Johnson Thompson. Like as a young girl, I've had female role models, and I think there's only being more so like it's, it's only getting to be even more like you say with the netball team and everything so I think the breakthrough has been coverage to be honest like they showed the women's netball in the gold coast it was all on tv and all my a lot of my friends watched it never watched netball before and mm. it's coverage that is the breakthrough I mean there's, there's so many young girls that are playing sport and then they watch it on TV and, whoa, you've got your role model. It's, it's so simple. Like, there's girls waiting for role models. And if you put the coverage out, they see them. I want to be like her. And then it's, it's just easy. But it does rely massively on coverage. And the research would suggest it's harder to take young girls through those teenage years mm-hmm. and keep them with sport. What kept you there? So, to be honest, I have just always loved sport. I didn't really have a choice. Not like, to me it was just always training. Like training was on the Tuesday, training was on the Thursday and I was just so tunnel vision. Thinking back now, I I don't know how I actually managed to do that, but it must have been role models because I wanted to be Jessica Ennis like since I was nine. When I started heptathlon, I was 14. But like even when I was just a runner, like I didn't even do heptathlon, but she was a role model. So it didn't even have to be sports specific. So I, I think, to be honest, it's just... I just really love the sport and then obviously role models make such a difference. This is back on track from anything but footy. The interview series featuring athletes aiming for Tokyo 2020 in 2021. In this episode, we're speaking to heptathlete Neve Emerson. Neve has recently taken on a role as ambassador for Glorious, a new global membership platform aiming to promote women's sport by creating content, hosting events and starting conversations, as well as encouraging greater participation in sport by young women and girls. I feel really honoured to be like asked to, to join in with them and like help because I think, to be honest, I'm quite obviously quite young and like hoping to kind of like just come into myself and I think it's so nice to be able to have a helping hand at a younger age I think to then to try and just bring through and the fact that they're creating this this woman's platform for visibility I find it quite easy to think what young girls would need because I've been that young girl so like I remember like watching obviously all my role models when I was growing up so to me like if I wanted to be a role model it's quite easy because I just would do what I wanted as a kid and I think I wanted coverage like I wanted to see athletics on TV and I think it's so good that Glorious are just an active participator in that to be honest and I just I think media coverage is everything and the fact that I'm on board helping them and also it just it gives me an opportunity to tell um obviously young girls whoever young boys about athletics really which is my sport you're in the earliest stages of your career, of course, as you've already mentioned, you're, you're 21. But do you actually feel that responsibility already to, towards young girls that, you know, might have watched you on the Gold Coast win your bronze medal, might have watched you win your indoor silver medal and, and will be watching you in Tokyo? I do feel like there's a responsibility, but, but also only because I want there to be a responsibility. So I think just from my own experience, as in, I keep saying this, like when I I did rely a lot on role models. So to me, it's just second nature, like just to talk to like young girls that do have tough on, because I remember being that girl. And it's not far, I mean, it was only a couple of years ago, to be honest. So it's quite close to home. So, so, So there's definitely a responsibility, but I think it's more of something that I like doing myself. And I just think it's, it's just quite cool. So for that young girl, young woman, guys as well that are sat listening to this, what what's your message? We've been sat at home for a year. We've not been able to get out. What would you say to them? I just say, if you're not already, like, I assume a lot of these young girls and boys will, will already have been in an athletics club, etc. I just say, like, hold on, because, like, it, normality will come back so just keep pushing and if, if you don't feel like training or you're finding motivation hard like that's fine like just do what you can I mean 
everyone loses motivation you have to push through but equally like I think it's just keep going because it it because it will all get back to normal and when it gets back to normal what are you hoping to come back from Tokyo with your big <laughs> rival of course will we'll probably be lined up alongside you in a very similar vest to be honest I I just really want to go to the Olympics I know I'll I'll probably tell you on the day or during the competition I'll be like I want to come here but I just my first goal is to I like we like setting like mini goals before I get to my big goal I just want to qualify and go and then as when I arrive on the start line healthy then I'll probably tell you where I want to finish but (laughs) and then we'll see what happens but I think my First goal is just getting there. Neve Emerson, hopeful of Team GB selection for Tokyo 2020 in 2021. For more information about Glorious and to subscribe to the platform, visit their website at gloriousport.com. You've been listening to Back on Track from Anything But Footy. Sports Social Podcast Network. Step into the world of power, loyalty, and luck. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse. With family, cannolis, and spins mean everything. Now, you want to get mixed up in the family business. Introducing The Godfather at ChompaCasino.com. Test your luck in the shadowy world of The Godfather slot. Someday, I will call upon you to do a service for me. Play The Godfather, now at ChampaCasino.com. Welcome to the family. VGW Group, no purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. See terms and conditions, 18 plus.